Hello world, and welcome back to another video from Superhero Review. This is Daniel, and with me as always is... Superhero review. That's right, guys. It is time to have some more fun. And as you can see, we're back to showing you a little bit of DC Legends video, a little bit of DC Legends gameplay. And uh, the cool thing is, we are actually doing some new stuff on our show. If you saw the last video we posted, we're doing Hero versus Hero, yeah. which is a comic book look at uh, superheroes that fight each other. Uh, the next one that we have coming up is going to be Superman versus the Amazing Spider Man. So, that will be very cool. Look forward to that coming to you very soon. But we wanted to do something really quick tonight because uh, there's a, a cool event going on right now and want to make sure that you're aware of it so that you can take advantage of one of the best characters in the game today and how you can get a bunch of his fragments. But before we get there, who's the best character in the game? Who's the best character in the game? Well, we're going to have to do another countdown, another top 10 very soon. But I can promise you the guy that we're going to talk about tonight is in the top 10. Five. So we'll be talking about him here pretty quick. He must be pretty good. He is very good, actually. All right, so as you can see, we now are at 29 out of 30. And uh, more than likely, if some of these guys haven't been uh, logging in, it looks like all of these are within minutes and hours, so all of them are good. Minutes, hours, seconds, looking good, looking good. A couple of hours, no problem there. Uh-oh. Somebody has not been on in a week. So, as you can see, we're about to get rid of somebody right here. So, uh-oh. So sad. I'm sorry. If you haven't been on in a long time, you're not grinding. You're not going to be part of the team. So, taking a look here, taking a look. Uh, looks like we have everybody else is present. Uh-oh. Another one, another one is one week and one day. If you can't grind, you can't be part of the team. So, I'm sorry, but you gotta go. So what does that mean? That means for you, there is now three spots available in the Superhero Review Alliance. And what that means specifically for you is that you get a chance to join the Superhero Review Alliance. So, what we'd like for you to do is go in and submit your request like these guys up here did, but we're only looking for, for, for uh, players that are level 70 or higher. So, 70 or higher, and if that's you, come join the Superhero Review Alliance, and you will be one of the lucky members in the Superhero Review Alliance. So, what, as we all know, uh, there's going to be raids that are going to be coming very soon, so you're going to need to be part of a high uh, powered and successful and and uh, um, uh, an alliance that is growing and is constantly doing things like like superhero review alliance so once one more time I'll show you again make sure you submit your request to superhero review and if you are level 70 or higher and you leave a comment in the section down below saying I'm a level 70 or higher and what your screen name is, and as you can see, our screen name right up there, we're a level 80 and we are Superman 2598. Let us know what your screen name is. And if you're level 70 or higher and you can do, do this every day, we want you to be a part of the Superhero Review Alliance. But for you guys that are staying with us, um, you guys make sure that you're playing this game because we do not want to get you out we do not want to be falling behind maddie is absolutely correct and so make sure you're keeping up and as you can see we left everybody in there that had been there for that that hasn't been on for uh, a couple of hours or a couple minutes that's perfectly fine i understand that but if you haven't been on in a couple of weeks you got to go you ain't gotta stay here mm -hmm. but you do gotta go home i think i said that wrong you ain't gotta go home but you can't stay here that's what it is <laughs> all right guys so no more talking about other stuff. It's time to talk about what we are here for right now, and that is the Hero Challenge for Black Adam. You've only got today. Today is the last day that you can do the, the Hero Challenge for Black Lantern, uh, and, or Black Adam, excuse me. Uh, and so let's take a look at Black Adam real quick. There he is, and we've already got him maxed out, but we're actually looking to try to take him all the way to being one of our rebirthed characters. And so he is, he's a very good, very strong character. Maddie's going to spin him around here for you real quick. But Black Adam, he's about as good as they get in the game today. He is definitely in the top five best characters in the game right now. 
And so let's take a look at his, his skill set here and uh, what recommendations we make for you on uh, the legendary order for Black Adam. All right, so uh, starting at the very top here, you've got Lightning Strike, which is a special damage to an enemy and a 40% chance. I believe it goes all the way up to a 55... Uh, no, it is a 40% chance to gain 50% turn meter and an extra 20% chance to gain 20% uh, turn meter. So very good uh, uh, upgrade there. This one is special damage to all enemies uh, and is a uh, plus 20% special damage per dead enemy. And when lightning strike on a random target, uh, if the target is below 50% uh, in HP. Uh, this is uh, what it's all about here. The, or I believe it's this. Uh, which which one is this one? No, that's his. That's his debuff. So the the big one is Shazam, obviously. So we're gonna talk about that one in here in just a second. The next one here is uh, his. A uh, storm attack that he does, which is heavy special damage and purge five buffs from an enemy uh, with a cooldown minus one on Shazam. So really good there. And plus a 75% chance, 75% uh, damage if the target is uh, below 50% HP. Next one here is a passive ability, which uh, gains 56% turn meter if your enemy is killed. And when Black Adam kills an enemy, gain damage immunity. Very good one there as well. And then the passive ability, when Black Adam kills an enemy, there's a 95, which eventually will be 100% chance to gain two permanent critical chance ups. And when Black Adam kills an enemy, it resets the cooldown on Shazam. So, which order do we recommend for you? Yeah, there's a bunch of really good ones here. Uh, but the one that I, I like the most is going to be this one right here. Uh, this is, if, if you can get this one to, to strike and, or I'm sorry, I, uh, sorry, it's this one here. He is number five. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. So the number one upgrade that we would recommend doing is number five. Number five is when Black Adam kills an enemy, it resets the cooldown on Shazam. And Shazam is the one that you want to use as often as possible. Yes. And so if you're going to upgrade that one first, so that is number five, then obviously the next one we recommend you doing would be number two, which is use lightning strike on a random target uh, if the enemies are below 50%, which is if you don't kill them, that's almost going to guarantee that they will be under 50% at this point, which means you'll get a chance to use this one, and which is just going to make them even faster. And uh, so that one is a good one to upgrade, but let's see, that one's also a good one. Yeah. So in my opinion, uh, the this one would probably be the last one. Number four, in my opinion, would be the last one because uh, even though it is good to have his damage immunity on him, his turns happen so fast that uh, it's very difficult for that for that uh, uh, damage immunity to last for very long. So, once again, your very first upgrade, your very first legendary upgrade, in my opinion, should be number five. Then followed by number two, then number one, and then number three, and finally number four. So one more time, that is five, two, one, three, and four in that order. That is my recommendation. That's our recommendation for the legendary order for Black Adam. Black Adam. Black Adam, you got it. So now yeah. let's go into his challenge that he has going on tonight. And we've already ran through a bunch of them. Matter of fact, we're now at the point where we've already three-starred all of them. We're going to do the last one here on the video for you right now. Black Adam looks like... um. Uh, looks like Shazam? Yes. Yes, he does look like Shazam. Uh huh. And there's a reason for that because Shazam, it, because Black Adam is Shazam's main bad guy. Mm. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I bet the bad guy's trying to look like the good guy because he's jealous. Well, actually, Black Adam came first, and then Shazam actually happened after that. So he actually isn't copying Shazam. All right, looking good so far, starting off really well. We have five rounds to go here, so we want to make sure that we can get through all of them. Looking good there. The demon taking them out. Um, so, the demon, uh... 
Etrigan? Yeah, Etrigan. Uh-huh. Why is he a demon? Yeah, uh, that's a good point. That's the way that they created that character in the comic books. Demons are usually bad, and you're absolutely right with that, Maddie. I agree with you. I mean, uh, um, you should change his powers because his powers seem like a bad villain. But, seem like a villain? Yeah, but uh, it can still be a good guy if you really need it to be. You got a bad feeling about the villain? Hmm. If you need a room to be a good guy, it can always change. Uh, uh, All right, time to go in here. And now we've got Shazam that we got to get through. We've also got uh, Mary uh, Mary Shazam that we got to get through there as well. I guess that's Shazam's sister. I think you're right. I'm thinking. Not... You think that's true? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Or just one. Yeah. Mary Marvel? Or Mary Shazam, as they like to call her. There we go. Get him out of there. Looking good, why, looking good. I always wonder this. Why are they in gray? Oh, why are they in gray? Because they are part of Necron's team. They're part of the bad guys. And we got to get her out of here. She is beating the snot out of us. Not good. She's still going to win because she's only one of them. Yeah, but she's getting all those speed ups on her, which is helping her quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Big Man can do. Takes her out, no problem. All right, time to really focus in here. We don't want to. We don't want to get behind on on him, so we better try to go right after him. Yeah. Uh, the first there we go. He is Gonzo, which is exactly what we needed. We shouldn't have any more problems here, any more difficulty taking this guy out because he is Gonzo. And now that is a one, two, and three star victory, baby, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, we are at the point, we got nine, nine fragments there. So, like I told you, I recommend you doing the, um, I recommend you go ahead and, and, and spend your money on this uh, spend your gold on it because there is not very many better characters in the game right now than Black Adam, in my personal opinion. So, my recommendation to you is this, and I will show you exactly what we're going to do. We've only got about 1,500 left, so, and so we're going to go ahead and spend the rest of our uh, energy that we have right now on these two, mm -hmm. and so we'll have a, anywhere from two to 12 chance, a uh, two to 12, uh, an opportunity to get anywhere from two to 12 fragments from him. And so let's take a quick look before we go any further of how much further we got to get for a, a rebirth, which is quite a bit actually. So we've got to get almost 400 roughly. You got to get at least 300 plus. So uh, it's going to cost us a lot, but at the same time, I think it's probably worth it. Uh, there's not very many guys, not very many characters in this game that are as good as Black Adam. So hopefully you've got more gold than I do because I ain't got much. And so we are going to utilize every last piece of gold that we have and get as many fragments of him as we can. So just to prove it to you here, we're going to spend the rest of our money and get as much as we can. 500. Got it. Um. This one. Got it. Yeah. One more. Got it. Yeah. All right. As you can see, we are tapped out. And uh, we will probably buy some more on our own off camera. Because yep. uh, I don't want you all to see any of the private uh, purchasing information. Uh, but just to prove to you, the our intent is to get Black Adam as high up as we can and utilize as much of these uh, as much of this gold as we can uh, so that we can get him all the way to 400. So let's see how high we can get on the video here. We're not trying to be rude, but some things we do keep to ourselves because <laughs> we don't want to keep out there. Yeah, Maddie is correct. There are certain things that uh, we don't want just everybody knowing about us, and so we're not going to just tell everybody our personal information, mm -hmm. even though you know that I'm Daniel and this is Maddie, but that's about all we need to tell people. Right, Maddie? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm having fun in my life, so. There you go. Absolutely. It's very important. All right, so we've almost spent all of it here. All right, we have. We are completely tapped out. So at this point, we are at, let's go in one more time and take a look at Black Adam. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and spend some real money on this. And we're already at 180. Uh, so we got some, not, not quite as much as I was hoping for. But we are just a little under halfway there right now. So uh, more than like you saw how much we spent. Uh, we we bought uh, five. We bought fifteen hundred worth and got us all the way to uh, one hundred and eighty one. But by the time that you see us again, he will be our next rebirth character because we really like Black Adam and think that he is worth the time, the money, and the resources to put into him. Because after they did his uh, his rework. They did a great job with him, and he is worth the time, the money, and all the gold to uh, to get him to that next level. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Go get those Black Adam fragments because he's worth it. He's worth the time. He's worth the investment. So, Maddie. Yeah. Is there anything you going to say to the people at home before we go? Hmm. Bye, world, and thanks for watching. God bless you, and have a great night. Don't forget to... Stay tuned to our next video. Bye, world. You heard her.